Hey there, nickel enthusiasts. Today, we're diving deep into the world of the 2002 D Mint Mark Jefferson nickel. Yes, you heard that right, we're talking about a coin that could potentially be worth millions of dollars. So grab a seat, buckle up, and let's uncover the history, value, and worth of this rare treasure. To start off, let's take a trip back in time to the year 2002. The United States Mint released the 2002 D Mint Mark Jefferson nickel as part of its regular coinage series. The D Mint Mark stands for the Denver Mint, one of the minting facilities of the U.S. Mint. This particular nickel features a portrait of Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States, on the obverse side. On the reverse side, you'll find a depiction of Jefferson's home, Monticello. Now, you might be wondering what makes the 2002 D. Mintmark Jefferson nickel so special? Well, it all comes down to its rarity. You see, in 2002, there was a mistake at the Denver Mint that led to a small number of Jefferson nickels being struck with an error. These error coins have a distinct characteristic that sets them apart from the rest, making them highly sought after by collectors. The error in question is known as the spitting eagle variety. On the reverse side of the coin, near the edge, you'll notice what appears to be a small mark or defect. This mark actually resembles the profile of an eagle, hence the nickname. Spitting Eagle. It's believed that this error occurred due to a die clash during the minting process, resulting in this unique and rare variety. So, just how valuable is the 2002 D Mint Mark Jefferson nickel with a spitting eagle? Error? Well, it's important to note that the value of a coin can fluctuate based on various factors such as condition, rarity, and demand. However, some collectors have been known to pay anywhere from hundreds to even thousands of dollars for a single coin in pristine condition. If you happen to come across a 2002 D. Mintmark Jefferson nickel with a spitting eagle error in your collection, consider yourself extremely lucky. Not only do you have a piece of history in your hands, but you also have a potentially valuable investment that could fetch you a significant sum if you ever decide to sell IT.I in addition to its rarity and value. The 2002 D. Mintmark Jefferson nickel with a spitting eagle error is also a fascinating piece of numismatic history. It serves as a reminder of the meticulous craftsmanship and attention to detail that goes into the minting of coins, as well as the occasional human error that can lead to unique and collectible varieties. So, whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, keep an eye out for the 2002 D. Minmark Jefferson nickel with a spitting eagle. Error. Who knows, you could be holding onto a coin that's worth millions of dollars. And remember, the thrill of the hunt is all part of the fun when it comes to coin collecting. I in conclusion, the 2002 D. Minmark Jefferson nickel with a spitting eagle. Error is a rare and valuable coin that has captured the attention of collectors around the world. Its unique error and historical significance make it a prized possession for anyone lucky enough to add it to their collection. So, keep your eyes peeled the next time you come across a nickel you never know, when you might stumble upon a hidden gem worth millions. We have a super exciting topic to dive into the 1988 P. Mintmark Jefferson nickel. This seemingly ordinary coin actually has a fascinating history and could be worth millions of dollars. So grab your magnifying glass and let's take a closer look at this hidden gem. First off, let's talk about the 1988 P. Mintmark. For those of you who may not be familiar, the P. Mintmark indicates that this particular nickel was minted at the Philadelphia Mint. This mint is one of the oldest in the United States and has been producing coins since the late 1700s. So right off the bat, we know that this nickel has some historical significance behind it. Now, you may be wondering why the 1988 P. Mintmark Jefferson nickel is so special. Well, it all comes down to its rarity. You see, in 1988, the Philadelphia Mint only produced a limited number of nickels with the P. Mintmark. This was due to a mistake in the minting process, 
which led to a small batch of nickels being stamped with a P instead of the usual D or S mint marks. Because of this error, the 1988 P mint mark Jefferson nickel is extremely rare and highly sought after by collectors. In fact, some experts believe that there are possibly only a handful of these nickels still in circulation today. This scarcity is what makes the coin so valuable and could potentially fetch millions of dollars at auction. But how can you tell if you have a 1988 P mint mark Jefferson nickel in your possession? Well, the first thing to look for is the mint mark itself. On the reverse side of the coin, near the bottom, you should see a small P next to Monticello. If you spot this mint mark, congratulations you may have struck nickel gold. Now, let's talk about the value of the 1988 P mint mark Jefferson nickel. As I mentioned earlier, this coin has the potential to be worth millions of dollars. Collectors are willing to pay top dollar for rare coins like this one, especially if they are in pristine condition. So if you happen to have a 1988 P mint mark Jefferson nickel in your coin collection, it might be worth getting it appraised by a professional to see just how much it could be worth. I, in addition to its monetary value, the 1988 P. Minmark Jefferson nickel also holds a lot of historical significance. This coin represents a unique moment in time when a small mistake led to the creation of a rare and sought after collectible. It serves as a reminder of the intricacies of coin minting and the importance of paying attention to detail. So, there you have it. Folks, the 1988 P. Mint Mark Jefferson nickel is a truly special coin with a lot of history and value behind it. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just someone who enjoys learning about rare coins, this nickel is definitely one to keep an eye out for. Who knows, you might just have a hidden treasure sitting in your pocket right now. Thanks for tuning in to today's video. If you enjoyed learning about the 1988 P. Mint Mark Jefferson nickel, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our Z Coins world for more coin collecting content. We're diving deep into the fascinating world of the 1981 P. Mint Mark Jefferson nickel. You may be surprised to learn that this seemingly ordinary coin could actually be worth millions of dollars. So grab a cup of coffee, sit back, and let's uncover the history, value, and potential fortune of the 1981 P. Mint Mark Jefferson nickel. First off, let's talk about the history of this iconic coin. The Jefferson nickel has been in circulation since 1938, replacing the Buffalo nickel. The 1981 P. Mint Mark Jefferson nickel was minted at the Philadelphia Mint, which is one of the oldest mint facilities in the United States. This particular coin features Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States, on the obverse side and his beloved home, Monticello, on the reverse side. It's a piece of American history that you can hold in your hands. Now, let's get into the nitty-gritty details of the 1981 P. Mint Mark Jefferson Nichols value. While most of these coins are worth face value or a few cents to collectors, there are some rare exceptions that can fetch a pretty penny. One of the key factors that can increase the value of a 1981 P. Mint Mark Jefferson nickel is its condition. Coins that are in mint or uncirculated condition are highly sought after by collectors and can command a higher price. Another important factor to consider is the rarity of the coin. In 1981, the Philadelphia Mint produced millions of Jefferson nickels, but there are a few rare varieties that are worth significantly more. One such variety is the 1981 P. Mint Mark Jefferson nickel with a full strike, meaning that all of the details on the coin are crisp and clear. These coins are highly coveted by collectors and can sell for thousands of dollars at auction. Now, let's talk about the potential fortune that could be hiding in your pocket change. If you happen to stumble upon a 1981 P. Mint Mark Jefferson nickel with a full strike in mint, or uncirculated condition, you could be looking at a six-figure payday. These rare coins have been known to sell for upwards of a million dollars at auction. Imagine finding one of these gems in your spare change. It's like winning the lottery. So, how can you determine if your 1981 P. Mint Mark Jefferson nickel is worth a fortune? 
The best way is to have it professionally graded by a reputable coin grading service. These experts will evaluate the condition and rarity of your coin and assign it a grade on the Sheldon scale, which ranges from poor, P1, to perfect mint state, MS70. The higher the grade, the more valuable your coin is likely to be. I, in conclusion, the 1981P Mintmark Jefferson Nickel may seem like just another coin in your pocket, but it has the potential to be worth millions of dollars. With its rich history, iconic design, and potential for rarity, this coin is a treasure waiting to be discovered. So keep an eye out for that elusive full strike, and who knows, you could be the next lucky collector to strike it rich with a 1981P Mintmark Jefferson Nickel. We're diving deep into the world of Jefferson Nickels, with a special focus on the 1996 P Mint Mark Edition. You may be wondering, why is this particular nickel worth millions of dollars? Well, stick around as we uncover the fascinating history, value, and potential worth of this rare coin. To begin, let's take a trip down memory lane to 1996. This was a significant year for the United States Mint as it marked the production of a limited number of Jefferson Nickels with the P Mint Mark. The Philadelphia Mint added the P Mint Mark to commemorate its participation in the production of these special coins. This unique addition makes the 1996 P Mint Mark Jefferson Nickel highly sought after by collectors worldwide. Now, you may be curious about the value of this rare coin. The 1996 P Mint Mark Jefferson Nickel is considered to be one of the most valuable Jefferson Nickels in existence. Due to its limited mintage and high demand, this coin can fetch a hefty price in the numismatic market. In fact, some collectors have reported selling their 1996 P Mint Mark Jefferson Nickels for thousands, if not millions, of dollars. But why is this particular nickel so valuable? Well, Part of the allure lies in its rarity. With only a limited number of 1996 P. Mintmark Jefferson Nichols in circulation, finding one in pristine condition can be like finding a needle in a haystack. This scarcity drives up the value of the coin, making it a highly sought-after item for collectors looking to add a piece of history to their collection. Moreover, the 1996 P. Mintmark Jefferson Nickel holds historical significance as it represents a unique moment in the history of the United States Mint. The inclusion of the P. Mintmark pays tribute to the Philadelphia Mint's contribution to the production of these special coins, adding an extra layer of value and nostalgia to this already rare piece. So, how can you determine the worth of your 1996 P. Mintmark Jefferson nickel? Well, there are several factors to consider when assessing the value of a coin. The condition of the coin plays a crucial role in determining its worth, with coins in mint condition fetching a higher price than those that show signs of wear and tear. Additionally, the rarity and demand for the coin in the numismatic market can also impact its value, with coins that are in high demand commanding a higher price. If you're lucky enough to own a 1996 P. Mintmark Jefferson nickel, be sure to take good care of it to preserve its value. Store the coin in a protective case to prevent damage and handle it with care to avoid any scratches or blemishes. Keeping your coin in pristine condition will not only maintain its value, but also ensure that it remains a prized possession for years to come. I, in conclusion, the 1996 P. Mintmark Jefferson Nickel is a rare and valuable coin that holds a special place in the hearts of collectors and numismatists. With its limited mintage, historical significance, and high demand in the numismatic market, this coin has the potential to be worth millions of dollars. So, if you happen to come across one of these special nickels in your collection, consider yourself lucky and treasure it for the gem that it is. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history, value, and worth of the 1996 P. Mintmark Jefferson nickel. Remember, the world of coin collecting is full of hidden treasures waiting to be discovered, so keep your eyes peeled for that next valuable find. We've got a pretty awesome topic to dive into the 1995 P. Mintmark Jefferson Nickel. 
This particular coin has caused quite a stir in the numismatic world due to its rarity and potential value. So, grab a snack and buckle up as we take a closer look at the history, value, and worth of this intriguing piece. Let's start off by delving into the history of the 1995 P. Mint Mark Jefferson Nickel. This coin was minted at the Philadelphia Mint in 1995, hence the P. Mint Mark. It is part of the Jefferson Nickel series, which has been in circulation since 1938. The Jefferson Nickel features a portrait of the third president of the United States, Thomas Jefferson, on the obverse side and Monticello, his Virginia home, on the reverse side. Now, what sets the 1995 P. Mintmark Jefferson Nickel apart from the rest is its low mintage numbers. In fact, only one, 570, Zero, 00 of these coins were minted, making it one of the scarcer coins in the Jefferson Nickel series. This low mintage has contributed to its rarity and potential value, which we'll get into shortly. When it comes to determining the value and worth of the 1995 P. Mintmark Jefferson Nickel, there are a few key factors to consider. The first factor is the coin's condition. As with any coin, the better preserved it is, the higher its value will be. Look out for any signs of wear or damage on the coin, as these can significantly impact its worth. Another factor to keep in mind is the demand for the 1995 P. Mintmark Jefferson Nickel. Collectors are always on the lookout for rare and unique coins to add to their collections, and the scarcity of this particular coin has piqued the interest of many. This high demand can drive up the value of the coin, especially if it is in excellent condition. I in terms of worth. The 1995 P. Mintmark Jefferson Nickel has been known to fetch prices in the range of hundreds to thousands of dollars, depending on its condition and demand. Some well-preserved examples have even been sold for as much as $10,000 or more. So, if you happen to come across one of these coins in your pocket change or collection, you may just be sitting on a small fortune. Now, you might be wondering how to spot a 1995 P. Mintmark Jefferson nickel in the wild. Well, the good news is that these coins are fairly easy to identify. Simply flip the coin over and look for the P. Mintmark on the obverse side, near the bottom. If you see that little letter, congratulations you've got yourself a rare find. In conclusion, the 1995 P. Mintmark Jefferson nickel is a fascinating coin with a rich history and potential for significant value. Its low mintage numbers, coupled with high demand from collectors, have made it a sought-after addition to any coin collection. So, keep your eyes peeled for this elusive gem you never know when you might stumble upon a hidden treasure worth millions of dollars. We are diving into the fascinating world of coin collecting with a special focus on the 1985 P. Mintmark Jefferson Nickel. Now you may be thinking, why is this particular coin so special? Well, buckle up because we are about to uncover why this seemingly ordinary nickel could be worth millions of dollars. Let's start by exploring the history behind the 1985 P. Mintmark Jefferson nickel. Minted in Philadelphia in 1985, this nickel features Thomas Jefferson on the obverse and his home, Monticello, on the reverse. What makes this coin unique is the P. Mint mark, indicating that it was produced at the Philadelphia Mint. This mint mark adds an extra layer of rarity and entry to the coin. Now, you may be wondering about the value of the 1985 P. Mint mark Jefferson nickel. Well, let me tell you, it can vary greatly depending on its condition and any potential errors or varieties. In average circulated condition, this coin may only be worth face value. However, if you happen to have a well-preserved specimen in mint state condition, you could be looking at a significant increase in value. But here's where things get really interesting. There are known instances of the 1985 P. Mintmark Jefferson nickel being worth millions of dollars due to specific errors or varieties. One such example is the double diobverse variety where the front of the coin exhibits a distinct doubling of the design elements. If you happen to come across one of these rare coins, 
you could be holding a small fortune in the palm of your hand. Additionally, there have been cases where the 1985 P. Mintmark Jefferson nickel has been erroneously struck on the wrong planchet, resulting in a coin that is vastly different from the standard nickel. These error coins can fetch exorbitant prices at auctions and are highly sought after by collectors around the world. Now, you may be wondering how to determine the value of your 1985 P. Mintmark Jefferson nickel. Well, the first step is to carefully examine the coin for any signs of errors or varieties. Next, you'll want to assess the condition of the coin, paying close attention to any signs of wear or damage. Finally, it's always a good idea to consult with a reputable coin dealer or appraiser to get an accurate valuation of your coin. I, in conclusion, the 1985 P. Mintmark Jefferson nickel is a coin that holds a special place in the hearts of collectors due to its rarity and potential for high value. Whether you're a seasoned numismatist or a beginner looking to start your collection, this coin is definitely one to keep an eye out for. Who knows, you may just stumble upon a hidden gem that could make you a millionaire overnight. And there you have it, folks. I hope you enjoyed learning about the history, value, and worth of the 1985 P. Mintmark Jefferson nickel. If you found this video informative, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my Z Coins World for more exciting coin collecting content. We have a super exciting topic to discuss the 2010 D. Mintmark Jefferson nickel. This particular coin has a fascinating history and some serious value, so stick around to learn all about it. If you're into coin collecting or just curious about rare finds, you're in the right place. Let's dive in. History of the 2010 D. Jefferson Nickel The 2010 D. Jefferson Nickel was minted at the Denver Mint in 2010, hence the D. Mintmark. This coin features Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States, on the obverse side. On the reverse side, you'll find Monticello, Jefferson's historic plantation in Virginia. The Jefferson nickel has been in circulation since 1938, making it a long-standing and iconic American coin. Value and worth of the 2010 D. Mintmark Jefferson nickel. Now, let's talk about the value and worth of the 2010 D. Mintmark Jefferson nickel. While most Jefferson nickels are not worth more than face value, there are some exceptions to the rule. The 2010 D. Mintmark Jefferson nickel is one such exception. Due to its low mintage and popularity among collectors, this particular coin can be worth significantly more than its face value. In fact, some rare specimens have been known to sell for thousands of dollars at auctions. Factors that determine the value of a coin when determining the value of a coin like the 2010 D. Mintmark Jefferson nickel, there are several factors to consider. These factors include the coin's rarity, condition, historical significance, and demand among collectors. Coins in pristine condition with low mintages are particularly sought after by collectors, as they are considered rare and valuable. Additionally, Coins with errors or unique characteristics can fetch a high price on the market. How to determine the value of your coin? If you're lucky enough to have a 2010 D. Mintmark Jefferson nickel in your possession, you may be wondering how to determine its value. One way to assess the value of your coin is to consult a reputable coin dealer or appraiser. These professionals can provide you with an accurate valuation based on the coin's condition, rarity, and current market trends. You can also use online resources such as coin collecting websites and price guides to get an idea of how much your coin is worth. Tips for coin collectors. For coin collectors looking to add the 2010 D. Mintmark Jefferson nickel to their collection, there are a few tips to keep in mind. First and foremost, do your research on the coin's history and value before making a purchase. Look for coins in good condition with minimal wear and tear, as these tend to hold their value better over time. Consider joining a coin collecting club or online forum to connect with fellow collectors and stay up to date on the latest trends in the hobby. And most importantly, 
have fun exploring the world of coin collecting and discovering hidden treasures along the way. Conclusion Well, there you have it the fascinating history, value, and worth of the 2010 D. Mint Mark Jefferson Nickel. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, this coin is definitely worth adding to your collection. Remember to keep an eye out for rare specimens and do your research to ensure you're getting the best value for your coins. Thanks for tuning in to our channel and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more coin collecting content. We are diving into the fascinating world of the 1998 D. Mintmark Jefferson Nickel. This little coin may seem unassuming, but it has a rich history and could potentially be worth millions of dollars. So, grab your magnifying glass and let's explore the story behind this elusive coin. Let's start with a little background on the Jefferson Nickel. This coin was first introduced in 1938 to honor the third president of the United States, Thomas Jefferson. The obverse side of the coin features a profile of Jefferson while the reverse side showcases his beloved home, Monticello. The nickel has gone through several design changes over the years, but it has remained a staple in American currency. Now, let's talk about the 1998 D. Mintmark Jefferson nickel. This particular coin was minted at the Denver Mint, which is one of the United States Mint's four production facilities. The D. Minmark indicates where the coin was minted and adds an extra level of desirability for collectors. Minmark coins are often sought after because they can be more limited in quantity compared to non Minmark coins. The 1998 D. Minmark Jefferson nickel is special for a few reasons. Firstly, it was minted in relatively low quantities compared to other years, making it a bit harder to come by. Additionally, there are reports of some 1998 D nickels exhibiting errors or varieties, such as off-center strikes or double dies. These errors can significantly increase the value of the coin for collectors. But what about the value of the 1998 D Mintmark Jefferson nickel today? Well, it's a bit of a mixed bag. On average, a typical circulated 1998 D nickel is worth face value, 5 cents. However, if you happen to come across a well-preserved, uncirculated example or one with a rare error, the value can increase significantly. Some collectors have reported selling rare 1998 D nickels for hundreds or even thousands of dollars. So, how can you determine if your 1998 D Mintmark Jefferson nickel is worth a pretty penny? The best way is to have it professionally graded by a coin certification service such as Peace GS or NGC. These third-party services will assess the condition of the coin, verify any errors or varieties, and assign it a grade that determines its value in the market. Keep in mind that grading can be subjective, so it's essential to do your research and consult with multiple experts before selling your coin. I in conclusion, the 1998 D. Mintmark Jefferson nickel may not seem like much at first glance, but it has the potential to be a hidden gem in your coin collection. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, keep an eye out for this elusive coin and you may be surprised by its value. Remember, the thrill of the hunt is all part of the fun in the world of coin collecting. We're diving into the fascinating world of numismatics with a close look at the 1961 Jefferson nickel. This coin may seem like just pocket change to some, but did you know that certain variations of this coin can be worth millions of dollars? That's right, we're talking about the 1961 Jefferson nickel without a mint mark. Stay tuned as we uncover the history, value, and worth of this rare and valuable coin. First off, let's start with a bit of history. The Jefferson nickel was first minted in 1938 to commemorate the third president of the United States, Thomas Jefferson. The reverse design features Jefferson's Monticello estate, making it a unique and iconic coin in American history. The Jefferson nickel was originally composed of 75% copper and 25% nickel until 1942 when the composition was changed to 56% copper, 35% silver, and 9% manganese 
due to metal shortages during World War II. In 1961, the United States Mint accidentally omitted the mint mark on a small number of Jefferson nickels, making them extremely rare and valuable. Now, let's talk about the value and worth of the 1961 no mint mark Jefferson nickel. This error coin is highly sought after by collectors due to its rarity and unique nature. While most Jefferson nickels from 1961 are only worth face value, the no mint mark variation can fetch anywhere from hundreds to millions of dollars, depending on its condition and provenance. The scarcity of this coin makes it a prized possession for numismatists around the world, with some collectors willing to pay top dollar to add it to their collections. So, how can you tell if you have a 1961 no mint mark Jefferson nickel? Well, the absence of a mint mark on the coin is the most obvious indicator. Typically, the mint mark can be found just below the date on the obverse side of the coin, denoting which mint it was produced at. However, if you have a 1961 Jefferson nickel without a mint mark, you may have hit the jackpot. It's always a good idea to have your coin authenticated by a professional grading service to confirm its authenticity and value dot if you're lucky enough to own a 1961 no mint mark Jefferson nickel, you may be wondering what to do next. The first step is to protect and preserve your coin by storing it in a coin holder or case to prevent damage and wear. Next, consider having your coin graded and certified by a reputable grading service to ensure its authenticity and maximize its value. Once you have a certified grade for your coin, you can decide whether to hold onto it as a long-term investment or sell it to a collector or auction house for a handsome profit. I in conclusion, the 1961 no mint mark Jefferson nickel is a rare and valuable coin that holds a special place in the hearts of coin collectors worldwide. Its unique error makes it a highly coveted piece that can command a high price on the market. Whether you're a seasoned collector or a curious novice, the allure of this rare coin is undeniable. So keep an eye out for that elusive 1961 no mint mark Jefferson nickel in your pocket change. It could be worth millions of dollars. We're diving into the fascinating world of the 2006 D mint mark Jefferson nickel. This little coin may not seem like much at first glance, but trust me, it has a whole lot of history and value packed into its shiny surface. Let's start with a quick overview of the 2006 D mint mark Jefferson nickel. This particular coin was minted at the Denver Mint in 2006, hence the D mint mark. It features a portrait of Thomas Jefferson on the obverse side and Monticello on the reverse side, just like all of Jefferson nickels. However, what sets this coin apart is its rarity and potential worth. Now, you may be wondering why the 2060 mint mark Jefferson nickel is so special. Well, it all comes down to its mintage numbers. In 2006, the Denver Mint produced just over 800 million Jefferson nickels which may sound like a lot, but when compared to other years, it's actually quite low. This limited mintage has made the 2006 D mint mark Jefferson nickel a highly sought after coin among collectors. But what really makes this coin worth potentially millions of dollars? Well, it all comes down to its condition and any unique characteristics it may have. If you happen to come across a 2006 D mint mark Jefferson nickel in mint condition, or with an error, then you could be looking at a coin that's worth a small fortune. Some collectors are willing to pay top dollar for coins that are in pristine condition or have a rare error, so keep an eye out for those hidden gems. Now, let's talk about the history behind the 2060 mint mark Jefferson nickel. This coin was minted during a time when the United States was going through some major changes. George W. Bush was in office, Hurricane Katrina devastated the Gulf Coast, and Pluto was controversially demoted from planet status. It was a tumultuous year, but through it all, the 2006 D mint mark Jefferson nickel quietly made its mark on numismatic history. I in terms of value, the 2006 D mint mark Jefferson nickel has seen a steady increase in worth over the years. While it may not be as valuable as some of the older, 
more rare coins out there, it still holds a special place in the hearts of collectors. If you're lucky enough to come across one of these coins in your spare change or while coin roll hunting, don't discount its potential worth. So, how can you determine the value of your 2060 mint mark Jefferson nickel? Well, there are a few key factors to consider. First and foremost, you'll want to assess the coin's condition. Is it in mint state, or has it seen some wear and tear over the years? The better the condition, the more valuable the coin will be. Additionally, you'll want to look for any errors or unique characteristics that could drive up the coin's worth even further. I, in conclusion, the 2060 mint mark Jefferson nickel may seem like just another coin, but it actually holds a lot of value and history within its small frame. With a limited mintage, potential errors, and a growing interest among collectors, this coin has the potential to be worth millions of dollars to the right buyer. So, keep your eyes peeled, and you may just stumble upon a hidden treasure in the form of a 2060 Mint Mark Jefferson nickel. We're diving into the fascinating world of the 1962 Jefferson nickel. Specifically, we'll be exploring the significance of the missing mint mark on some of these coins, as well as discussing their potential value and worth. So sit back, relax, and let's uncover the secrets of the 1962 Nomad Mark Jefferson nickel. First off, let's talk a little bit about the history behind the 1962 Jefferson nickel. This coin was minted during a time of great change in the United States with the civil rights movement in full swing and tensions running high in the country. The Jefferson nickel itself has a long and storied history, with the first coins being minted way back in 1938. Over the years, the design of the nickel has undergone a few changes, but it has remained a beloved and iconic piece of American currency. Now, let's address the elephant in the room the missing mint mark on some of the 1962 Jefferson nickels. Mint marks are small letters or symbols that indicate where a coin was minted. In the case of the Jefferson nickel, the mint mark is typically found on the reverse side of the coin, near the bottom. However, there are some 1962 nickels that were inadvertently minted without a mint mark at all. These coins are known as Nomin Mark Jefferson nickels and they are quite rare and highly sought after by collectors. So, why are these nomin mark Jefferson nickels so valuable? Well, the absence of a mint mark on a coin can be seen as a mistake or error in the minting process. These kinds of errors are highly desirable to collectors, as they make the coins unique and rare. In the case of the 1962 nomin mark Jefferson nickel, the rarity factor is further heightened by the fact that only a small number of these coins were ever produced. This scarcity, combined with the historical significance of the coin, can drive up its value significantly. Speaking of value, let's talk about how much a 1962 nomin mark Jefferson nickel could be worth. While it's difficult to pinpoint an exact value for these coins, as prices can vary depending on factors such as condition and demand, it's safe to say that a well-preserved example could be worth thousands of dollars. In some cases, a 1962 nomin mark Jefferson nickel in mint condition could be worth upwards of a million dollars. Of course, these kinds of high values are reserved for coins in impeccable condition, so don't go thinking that just any old 1962 nickel is going to make you rich. If you're lucky enough to come across a 1962 nomin mark Jefferson nickel in your collection, there are a few things you can do to maximize its value. First and foremost, make sure to handle the coin with care and keep it in a protective case to prevent any damage. Next, consider having the coin professionally graded by a reputable coin grading service. This will give you an accurate assessment of the coin's condition and help you determine its true value. Finally, if you're looking to sell the coin, consider reaching out to a reputable coin dealer or auction house to get the best possible price. I, in conclusion, the 1962 Nomin Mark Jefferson Nickel is a fascinating and valuable coin that holds a special place in the hearts of collectors. Its rarity, historical significance, and potential for high value make it a prized addition to any collection. 
so keep your eyes peeled and your pockets ready you never know when you might stumble upon one of these rare gems. Thanks for tuning in, and happy coin hunting!